morning. It is uh, 5.30 in the morning. April, I don't know, 25th, I think. Anyway, typically, this is right around the day that ice out is declared on Lake Winnipesaukee. And as you can see, I'm leaving the marina in my boat. If you subscribe, which you should do now, you'll know, you've probably seen the videos that we've already been out, or I've already been out, uh, chasing some white perch. I've had a couple salmon trips that were lackluster, but it is uh, definitely not ice out fishing anymore, but the water's still cold. We're still uh, on my temperature sensors. Having a hiccup here. Let's see, uh, 42 degrees. 42 degree water temps. Salmon bite is just weird the last week. Uh, the cold nights, real cold nights. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't pretend to know exactly what's going on, but I know the white perch should be better than they were the last time. Hopefully, I'll catch uh, a few more. I'm gonna head up that way. It's about probably four mile run, and see if I can't find some white perch. Hope you guys enjoy it. Again, hit that notification bell if you haven't, and subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. all morning to find these fish but I found some white perch <laughs> hope they stay here and be able to keep them nice one Okay, so this rod and reel combo that I'm using is a Daiwa Tatula 6 foot 6 medium fast action with a Ballistic 3000D spinning rail on it. I really like this setup, it catches well, and I'll put links to all my gear in the description. Real nice fish. Picture that one in a minute. down there. Come on. Come on. There they are. Come on. Got him. Ugh, they're leaving.
Now you'll see me toggling back and forth between 2D sonar and the side imaging and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm driving around looking for these fish and I'm using the side imaging to look out to the side of the boat but because I'm looking so far out the detail directly under the boat isn't quite as good as that right there on the 2D sonar. So that's why you see me doing that. Some of them anyway. Oh yeah, there they are. Got him. All right, finally. Able to stay on some schools, at least for now anyway. Ooh, this feels like a good one. There's some nice white perch in here. I've been up in here, cruising around all morning. <laughs> and haven't marked any, oh, oh my God, look at that school. I have not marked any white perch. Oh my God. Wow, these are some nice fish. I am gonna bring a few home to eat. Get a few photos too. See if I can't find them again. These fish are, they're nomadic generally anyway, but they have lately been especially on the move and I don't know my guess is that they're chasing schools of smelt. Had a bit of a mess there a minute ago. I, I was trolling, had both trolling lines in and marked that school of fish. Had to get at least one of my lines in because we were only allowed to have two lines. And then while I was catching those other ones, I ended up having one grab that other downrigger line that was still in. I didn't even know it. A little chaos there for a minute. Uh, no. <laughs> Come on, where'd you go? See, this is the game. They're not going to stay in one spot, especially I'm, I'm out here in a kind of a, a flat. <clears throat> and if they're out here just cruising around looking for smelt, they're not going to stay in one spot. If they were up against the bank feeding, they would stay in there for a longer, potentially. <laughs> If I can at least get one out of here before they're gone. Oh yeah, that's a big school of fish right there. That is one monster school of white perch. There we go. Come on. Yep. Oh. <laughs> Got him. That is a giant school of fish. This looks, feels like a big one. Maybe not huge, but no, I guess it's not huge, it's just fighter. Scrappy. Jeez. Both lips.
and they're gone. Unbelievable. Okay, my lure is a 1 8 ounce red glow blade spoon from Clam Outdoors. They come with trebles, we take them off in the winter so we can put bait on them here in New Hampshire and put a single sawash hook on there. And I'm putting just enough piece of worm on there to cover that hook. Any more than that and the fish will just pick at it and you'll miss a lot more fish. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice one. Yeah. Not really. I mean, that would be a nice, nice white perch just about anywhere except here. Nice Real nice one. Real nice one. They will. Oh, yeah. Got him. No big. This is white perch. Classic Winnipesaukee white perch fishing. This school is fired up and feeding, and I don't even need to put bait on my line. Ooh. That looked like a good one. Bad. I might put some of these back when I'm done, but I'm not done yet. on them for now. Oh, yeah. They're a pie too. Come on. Oh, look at them coming right up my jig. Look at them all. Yep. <coughs> Before your friends leave. <laughs> <laughs> 